everybody, welcome back. I am Kathy, and if you're new to my channel, I do food and product reviews. And today I have another food finds. Uh, and I just realized they're all sweet. I'm not sure what happened this week, but nothing salty. Um, so down below in the description, as always, I will put a timestamp so you can see what I'm going to review. And if you're not interested, you can move along. All right, so first up, I'm not going to lie, I'm not even excited to try this, but I will. So this is the Mountain Dew Thrashed Apple. Dew charged with crisp apple. I'm not a Mountain Dew fan. If you've been watching my channel at all, you know my drink Diet Coke and water. So this is exclusive to Kroger or any of their, their stores. I don't know, Fred's is one of them, I think. I think there's like, I don't know, eight different ones, four different, I don't know. There's different ones that are, you know, just like Kroger, so. Ooh, I do smell a little apple. It's not bad. I'd get an apple flavor. Ah, it's not too bad. Better than I was expecting. Um. Yeah. Uh, I don't hate. I don't hate it. Don't hate it. Whatever. Drink it. No. But I don't hate it. Um. So yeah, if you want something a little different with a little apple flavor, um, give it a try. All right, so the next one I am excited to try, um, kind of, because I actually have seen a review of this. Um, I, I've been waiting a while to find this, but it is the Pop-Tart Mr. E, is that Mr. E, not Mr. E, Mr. E flavor. So if you scan this, um, it's like a mystery you have to there's like clues to solve uh, to figure out what the uh, flavor is I scanned it it's cute um, I, it moved too quick I didn't catch the clue because it was like the fifth clue um, but even if you just want to figure out the flavor if you don't want to try up here at the store just scan that and you can at least see see the clue see if you can figure it out so what I do know about these is they're not sweet Wheat. They are a savory pop tart, but oh, <laughs> uh, as much as I like this flavor, um, oh, it's a mustache. It's a mustache. <laughs> or do you want your mustache this way? Oh, are they all mustaches? Must ask you a question. All right, here we go. Sunglasses. Sunglasses and a mustache. Oh, there's also a hat and a question mark. I'm like, do I have to open all these? Oh, wait a minute. It says collect all 10. Man, you know I'm going to have to open all these now. Oh, but these are a little different sunglasses. So the video that I watched, I think it was from Dad Bod Snacks. That's um, on Instagram. So, all right, now I gotta open one more. There's four packs. Fingers crossed. Ooh, a little different. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> like that. Ooh. Okay. All right, I'll stop playing now, okay? So the flavor that um, the dad bought snack, he said it was like a garlic flavor, I think. But that's what I smell. I smell garlic. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. So I wasn't expecting that. Um, this looks like a cream or... A marshmallow. Oh, <laughs> this is so wrong. So it has a marshmallow cream texture. It's like I'm getting more of a smell of a garlic than I am a taste. This is very weird. I don't, I'm not getting a lot of, I'm just getting like a marshmallow cream texture. Not much of a flavor but I really got a smell of like garlic I don't 
it's not so much here, but that first bite. And this one, I don't know, this is weird because I really got the garlic smell, but I don't have a taste. I'm trying really hard. I get marshmallow cream. It's like through the packages. It's like, where did I get the smell from? So weird. I don't know, I was expecting straight up garlic and that's not what I'm getting. I had the smell. Weird. So weird. Anyway, if you have tried those, let me know what your guess is. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. And cheesecake drizzled caramel corn. And I am a snob about caramel corn because I make some really good caramel corn. So it is hard to impress me with caramel corn. Cheesecake drizzled caramel corn. So it's caramel corn drizzled with pumpkin cheesecake drizzled. Caramel corn glazed with classic pumpkin pie spice and topped with creamy cheesecake gr griddle drizzle. Anyway, here. Mm, sweet. See, I go in with super low, like super low expectations because. I always feel like I'm disappointed. I get the pumpkin flavor. Maybe a slight cheesecake. I don't know. Maybe that's just in my head. But I do definitely get the pumpkin flavor of the caramel corn. Um, but it's still okay. I'm not crazy about it. It's okay. I don't love it. I don't hate it. Never buy it again. How much was it? It was $2.99. So... Uh, I would rather just have my caramel corn, to be honest. And I would I wonder if I did that. I wonder if I make caramel corn and put some pumpkin spice on it. I don't know. This is this is okay. It's not it's not bad. Um, just just super sweet. But you do get the pumpkin flavor. Not so much. I don't get so much the cheesecake, but pumpkin. Yes. Okay. So the next thing is this. Also from Aldi. This is the Bake Shop Bakery Cinnamon Crumb Cake. A cinnamon cake topped with a thick layer of sweet icing. So I have had a few of these cakes. I've had, well, a few. I've had one a few times. Uh, the triple chocolate. The triple chocolate is really good. Um, but this is the first time. And I don't, I don't remember seeing this all the time. So I don't know if it's just for fall or once in a while or what. But, um, no, this would be better heated. Maybe I'll try it both ways. If you're watching the channel at all, you know I love cinnamon. I we'll get a little bit of icy. I would guess like a cinnamon coffee cake. Let me heat it up and see. Alright, so I heated it up just for a few seconds. Maybe like 10. Um, I think I like it better heated. It's good. It would probably be great with a cup of coffee. I don't know. I wouldn't know because I don't drink coffee, but that's what people say. So if you like cinnamon and you like a crumb cake, I think you would enjoy it. It's, it's good. And what you do is you take it off here, put it on a plate, put some plastic wrap over it, and like, oh, look what I made. And that's what you do. Okay, up next. I believe these came out last year, but I never tried them. So the limited edition salted caramel apple cookies. So let me show you. And it's the Pillsbury, so it's safety roll now. So these are the big ones. So you get 12. Sometimes they have, usually in the limited edition, I don't know if they have the different sizes, but in the other regular chocolate chip or peanut butter or whatever. They usually have two different sizes. They have the big and then they have the smaller. Here it is. So what is it? Salted caramel apple. It smells like apple. It's nice and soft like I like it. Ooh. 
I get the caramel, caramel. I get a little salty flavor, a little bit, but definitely get an apple and a caramel. These are really good. I think I taste more apple than I taste caramel. I taste both, but um, these are these are yummy cookies. Obviously, I'm not supposed to eat this. Um, so yeah, if you see these, you like caramel apple, salted caramel. Like I said, salted. I'm not getting so much of the salted as I am the caramel and the apple. More apple than caramel, but these are really good. Really good, great for fall. Okay, so lastly, I have a comparison. So Aldi is now carrying the ready baked cookies. Uh, what do they call them? Just the cookie dough, the slices, or the pieces, whatever you want to call them. Um, let me show you. This is the chocolate chip. They also have peanut butter. So we're $1.89. But I thought I would compare them to the Pillsbury. So 12 in here. Let me see. Compare it to. So here's the Pillsbury. This one's been open, but here. The Pillsbury cookie dough. So these were the small because there's 24 in this one. So here is the Pillsbury. This is the big one. So this is 12. So this is comparable to these. These are the Bakehouse Creations from um, Aldi. So here is the Pillsbury and here is the Aldi. All right, so I baked these up so we could try them. Like I said, um, I went online and it looks like, um, I think Walmart had these the cheapest for 268. But so I just thought I would try to see which one, if there's a different, how these taste and if there's a difference between these and Pillsbury. So I went ahead and baked them up. So here we have the Pillsbury and here is the the Aldi. I'm gonna try the Aldi first. And here is the Pillsbury. It looks like this one may have more chocolate chips, but it could just be the ones that bake. Some of those are not even. Both good. Um, let me try this one again. So I think they're both good, but I think I like the Aldi better. There's a distinct flavor in the Pillsbury, which I'm not sure what that is. I almost feel like these taste more like homemade than these. I don't know. They're both good, don't get me wrong. Uh, but for the price, like I said, these are $1.89 and the Pillsbury average around $2.68. So, there is a little different flavor in the Pillsbury than the uh, Aldi. So if you're at Aldi and you see these, I definitely think they're worth a try. Uh, like I said, they also have them in peanut butter. I don't know if I missed a flavor, but definitely there is chocolate chip and peanut butter for sure. Nothing, nothing against Pillsbury, but I think I'm going to go with the Aldi. So now I need something salty. So if you know it's a salty snack I should try, uh, let me know in the comments below if something new out that I should try. So if you have tried any of these items, uh, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. And that brings me to nothing. I have no question today. I guess my question is, is there something you want me to review? Let me know in the comments below. Alright, if you like this video, think about hitting that thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed, think about hitting that red subscribe button. And think about hitting that bell. I hope you have a wonderful day and I appreciate you watching and I will see you next time. Bye.